okay, you are in After Effects, you've, you've prepared your video for YouTube or for something, and you just go with an After Effects, you create this animation as you did now, and let's pre-compose them one last time together, and this will be our ready reveal. We can pre-compose them, we can call them ready animation title or something like this, and we can go to our project panel. We have this ready animation title and let's take this video, let's say that this is your video, you imported it into After Effects, you'll create this video and press here, because this creates a new composition. This is my video and the only thing I have to do is to select ready animation title. I put the ready animation title here, boom boom boom, it goes in, it animates as you remember for 5 seconds, let me try to render it. It will take a little second, so wait a moment. Okay, I think now it will render. The animation is playing and your video is beautifully revealed. And if you think that this reveal is too quick, no problem. Remember that we have the reveal option. Double click on the reveal, double click here, double click the mask revealer and it could be a bit slower. You see those keyframes? If I place them further away, this entire revealer will be a bit slower. Now maybe I overdone it, making it only 5 seconds, but yeah, I overdone it. Now it takes a bit longer, so it can be a bit longer, it can be 7 seconds here, but once I create my, my time-lapse video I have here and I place this composition, it has originally 10 seconds, but it really takes about 7 now to play or 6, and this text is very nicely revealing itself into the video you actually have and then you can render this out you can put those videos together and you have a ready file for youtube or for, for somewhere else revealing such a nice text if you don't want the background no problem go into the ready animation the title the pre-comp one and just deselect the background that's everything you go back to the to the video and you see only a title will now appear and boom this title nicely fades off. I would like to render this to show it to you because this will look better. Let's take a preview. We have our video tutorial and beautiful. If you want to go one step forward again, you press F4 on your keyboard and you enable 3D. Then you press P like position, you go forward, you keyframe the position, you go to the end of the animation, you can even go above it and the Z rotation, which is uh, the Z position, sorry, will get it closer to you. I'll make the, it to about 400. Okay, it actually goes now backwards, but if you want it go, to go forward, you just put a negative amount here. A negative like this. And perfect. I really do like those animations if they are really clean and they are revealing something with a nice fadey fashion. And we made this really in a couple of minutes in After Effects. Let me show you in the next lesson how easy it would be to add a second text here, because one text might not be enough and you would need a second text here at the end in the video to reveal two things.